Yo, what is going on guys? Uh, today I'm going to be going over the NBA slate on DraftKings for Saturday, January 20th. Uh, we have another seven game slate, uh, at least seven main games. Uh, I know there are a couple early games, but just going to be covering the main slate for Saturday. And before we get started, uh, going through each position, if you guys could drop a like on the video, I would really appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel and this is your first time uh, clicking on a video on my channel, thank you so much for checking out the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, so that way you'll never miss out on any of my new uploads. But yeah, guys, uh, looking at point guard on today's seven-game slate, pretty loaded position up top here. Steph Curry going up against Houston. We've got James Harden up here, Chris Paul, even Tyreek Evans, Damian Lillard. Uh, a lot of good stud options we can consider paying up for. Definitely this Golden State-Houston game is going to be a game we want to have exposure to. Uh, it's a game that's going to be played at a fast pace, going to be really high scoring, should be competitive as well. Uh, starting off with Curry in this game, 10,300. Not sure if I want to pay this much for Curry on this slate. I would say you need at least 50 DraftKings points from him to really return value on this price tag. It's not that I think Curry's going to have a bad game. Uh, it's just that I don't like the price. I don't think he's going to return value on this price. We obviously know Curry has a ton of upside. This could be one of those games where he just he's making all his shots and just has a really big game. Uh, but I think there are better like point-per-dollar options at point guard today. It's not the most optimal matchup either. Uh, going up against Chris Paul, who is a solid defender. Talking about Paul in that game, I think he's my preferred option. Him and James Harden are two options that we can go to. Harden's going to be looking at about a 30-minute limit here, so we're getting him playing 30 minutes against the Warriors at under 10K. Usually never see Harden this cheap. And their last game against Minnesota, his first game back from injury, did play 26 minutes, 30 DraftKings points. Uh, Harden's going to get 30 minutes here, 30, could see 30 or more. And in 9,700 in tournaments, I don't mind going to James Harden at all, especially uh, in GPPs. I feel like he's going to be low-owned today. Nobody's really going to play him with the restriction. Uh, but at his price tag, he could definitely hit value on this price. Obviously, I think Chris Paul is the much better, like, optimal cash play. Definitely like Chris Paul here. Uh, just a good matchup against the Warriors. He'll see plenty of Steph Curry. Curry, obviously not the best defender compared to guys like Klay Thompson, Kevin Durant. Uh, Curry should be spending most of his time on Chris Paul. So this is a good spot for Paul. He's got a pretty nice price tag at 9400 even with Harden playing in their last game against Minnesota. Uh, Chris Paul still had a nice game of 47 DraftKings points, 19 points, 6 rebounds, 9 assists, 35 minutes in that game. And he's been solid so far this year against Golden State, averaging 42 DraftKings points through two games. Obviously, 42 is not what we want in 9400 uh, But with the way Paul, Paul has been playing lately, and with how his priced at just 9400 I definitely think he makes sense. I think he's my preferred option if we're going to pay up at this position. Uh, but Harden in tournaments, really like Harden in tournaments today, especially if this is a competitive game. If it's like 97, 97 uh, at like three minutes or four minutes left in the fourth quarter, there's a good chance Harden's going to be out there even if he's played over 30 minutes. So if you think this is a competitive game, you have to have some interest in James Harden here. Even with the restriction, he still has a ton of upside and he's priced under 10K as well. Uh, but looking at other point guards that we can go to, not sure I'm going to be on Tyreek Evans or Damian Lillard or even Lou Will just at their price tags. I think if I'm paying up at this position, I probably just want to go up to Harden or Paul, even Curry. Uh, just these 8K guys don't really interest me just given their price tags. I think uh, the better options are for a little bit more. Eric Bledsoe uh, is a really intriguing play today at 7,600. We've already got news that uh, Giannis is not going to play in this game. Malcolm Brogdon's not going to play as well. Uh, that's going to open up a lot of minutes, a lot of usage for guys like Bledsoe and Middleton, who we'll talk about later. Uh, but DraftKings was obviously sharp with the pricing. They upped Eric Bledsoe's price to 7600 so he's not just a plug-and-play. If he was like 65 even 6800 definitely would be plugging in Bledsoe today. At 7600 you do have to think about it. But with no Giannis, that's a lot of usage to go around. Bledsoe's going to have to pick up the slack here, going to be taking a lot of shots, going to have the ball in his hands a ton. Really like him as a mid-tier play if you're not going to pay up for Paul, Curry, Harden, uh, Eric Bledsoe at 7,600 without Giannis. I think he's a really good option in that mid-tier. There's a lot of mid-tier options today just in the 7K range. Like We got Kimba, Drew Holiday, Dragic, Lowry, uh, Donovan Mitchell. But I think if I had to choose one, Bledsoe uh, is my favorite option there if we're looking at the guys in that 7K range. Uh, and if we're trying to save a little bit of salary at point guard, maybe want to go to this mid-tier or try and find some value here. Right now, I'm not seeing like a lot of 5K or really cheap plays at point guard that I'm absolutely in love with on this slate. We could go to like Della Vendova with Brogdon and Giannis out. You could try and get some value from that situation with the Bucks with Giannis and Brogdon being out. That could open up value with maybe Della Vendova. But I feel like there are probably better value plays on this slate. We don't need to go that cheap. 
Uh, but there is going to be more minutes to go around for the Bucks today, which could open up cheap options if you want to go there. Uh, but that's what I'm seeing at point guard today, at least looking at this position, given some of my early thoughts. Uh, so moving on to shooting guard and looking at shooting guard today, looking at plays that I haven't already talked about. Uh, definitely have a stud up top here. Uh, Jimmy Butler, 9,200, going up against the Raptors. Doubt I'm going to be on Jimmy Butler on this slate. Not the most optimal matchup going up against DeRozan. And at Jimmy's price tag of 9,200, I'm not sure if he's a guy that I really want to pet for in this slate. At least if I'm making one lineup, I doubt Jimmy Butler's going to be in that one lineup. I just think there are better options available to pay for, like Chris Paul, Harden. I prefer we'll get on to like other positions. I think there are good options to pay for at other positions. Uh, so doubt I'm going to be on Jimmy Butler today at 9,200. Don't think he's a guy I'm trying to pay up for. Looking for other options. Uh, talked about Middleton when I mentioned Bledsoe. Middleton, definitely a guy we have to consider. Without Giannis, uh, he's had monster games this year when Giannis has missed. DraftKings was also sharp with Middleton's pricing. Uh, he's priced up to 7,900. Obviously, if you look in his last game, 68, 6,700. If he was that price tag today, he'd pretty much be a lock. But at 7,900, you do have to think about it. You're going to need, I would say, at least 40 DraftKings points from him to return value on this salary. It's pretty likely he's able to get there. Not the most optimal matchup. He's going to see plenty of Robert Covington. Uh, Covington is a solid defender, but just so much usage to go around with Giannis out. So uh, that obviously makes Chris, Chris Middleton a good option at 7,900. Him and Bledsoe. A really good plays in that 7K range. If we're going to the 6K price range, uh, looking for options here. Clay Thompson, a guy I really like going up against Houston. Uh, he's played really well in this matchup through two games this year against the Rockets. He's averaged 37 minutes and averaged 38 drafting points. Uh, he's going to see plenty of hard in defense, which is a good matchup for Thompson. So uh, 6,800, especially in tournaments today. We saw the kind of upside that Clay has his last game putting up 50 drafting points. Uh, 38 points to 22 shots in that game against the Bulls. Shot the ball pretty well, uh, so I do like him as a mid-tier play at 6,800. I think he's a good option if you're going to that price range at shooting guard today. And then maybe if we're trying to go cheap here uh, and find value at shooting guard. I didn't talk about him at point guard, but at 5,100, Yogi Ferrell going up against Portland. If J.J. Barea is out today, uh, it looks like he was ruled out, but then he got upgraded back or he got upgraded to questionable. So J.J. Barea is questionable as I'm recording this on Friday night. If Berea misses today, that does open up. Uh, Yogi Ferrell is somewhat of a cheap option at 5,100. You really only need about 26, 27 DK points from him to return value on this price. Uh, without Berea, he's been playing a lot of minutes. He's been very consistent. You look at his last four games, 31, 33, 33, and 27 Jackson's points, and has been seeing a lot of minutes as well. Uh, so Yogi Ferrell, at point guard or shooting guard, I think is a guy you can go to today if Berea is ruled out. That makes Ferrell a decent cheap option. And then if we're going sub 5K, trying to find uh, more cheap value, Dylan Brooks at 4,100 going up against the Pelicans. I think he's a guy we can go to for value. He's been playing a ton of minutes lately. He's been pretty consistent. His last two games, he's put up 28 and 28 DraftKings points. Uh, but the main reason I like Brooks is just because of the minutes. You're getting a guy 4,100 playing 30 plus minutes a game. Obviously, he's not the best like fantasy point producer. He's not going to get you like 40, 50 points. But he is playing 30 plus minutes. He can definitely get you 20 DraftKings points in 30 minutes and hit value on this price tag. Uh, so as a guy that's sub 5K at shooting guard, I like him if you're going uh, cheap at this position. I think he's a good option at 4,100. He's really the value play that stands out to me at shooting guard. Uh, like I said, the Bucks are going to have, there's going to be value on the Bucks today. So you could go to Tony Snell as a value play with Giannis, with Brogdon out. That's going to open up minutes for guys like Tony Snell. And he is really cheap at 3,800. He's obviously not the most enticing play to roster. But if he's going to see 25 to 30 minutes, he can definitely return value on this cheap price tag. Uh, so he makes sense as a cheap guy to go to a shooting guard. Um, but that's really what I'm seeing at this position, at least options that stand out to me. So moving on to small forward today, obviously Giannis is out. So our most expensive option at this position is Kevin Durant, 10,300 going up against the Rockets. I'm not sure if KD is a guy that I want to pay up for today. But we're just talking about uh, options that we can pay up for. And KD didn't have that much success in the uh, one game that he played against the Rockets this year. He only put up 41 drafting points in 37 minutes. And at 10,300, I don't think it's very likely KD returns value. I don't think he gets 50 plus. If I'm going to pay 10K from somebody from the Warriors, I would much rather have Curry over Durant today. Uh, they're both the same price tag. Just give me Curry if I have to choose one. So don't think I'm going to be paying up for Durant on this slate. Uh, so looking for other small forward options we can go to. You obviously have Middleton as a sort of a top tier option here. I think you can play him as small forward. I think he's a great play today at 7,900. Uh, but looking for other mid-tier options that we can go to. In this 5K price range, uh, like James Johnson here at 5,200, 
going up against the Hornets. This is a really good matchup for James Johnson. He's played pretty well in this matchup uh, just so far this year. Two games against the Hornets. He's averaged 31 minutes and has averaged 28 drafting points. Uh, and lately, JJ's been seeing consistent minutes, been pretty consistent, putting up over 26 drafting points in two of his last three games. I think he is a guy that we can go to if we're looking to save as small forward or power forward. Uh, he's pretty cheap at 5200 I'd say it's likely James Johnson's able to pay off this price tag. So if you're looking for value at small forward, uh, I definitely like him as a cheap play. And they're looking sub-5K for value plays. Wesley Matthews as a shooting guard and small forward play uh, is a guy that I think we can go to. Just been playing a lot of minutes lately. His last four games, 33, 37, 39, and 35 minutes. Uh, 29, 17, 25, 21 drafting points. So he's been consistent at just 4,700. You really only need about 23, 24 drafting points from him to return value on this price tag. Wesley Matthews uh, can definitely get there, especially with the amount of minutes that he, that he plays. So if you're trying to find value at small forward or shooting guard, uh, Matthews is eligible at both positions. Uh, like him at 4,700. And then the last play I want to mention uh, is Luke and Bob Mute at 4,200 going up against the Warriors. Um, he did start in their last game against Minnesota with Trevor Ariza suspended. And then Bob Mute played 32 minutes and put up 27 draftings points. Uh, he is one of their good defenders as well. They're going to need him to guard Kevin Durant. So I think Mbaba Mute plays plenty of minutes here, and at just 4,200, it's pretty likely he's able to get you 20-plus draftings points and return value. So he is another guy that I see if you're going cheap at this position. Uh, Luke Mbaba Mute at 4,200 with the Ariza suspended. I like him as a value play. Uh, but that's what I'm seeing as small forward, at least plays that really stand out to me quickly looking at this position. So moving on to power forward. Talking about power forward today, got two studs up top here, Boogie and AD going up against the Grizzlies. Uh, there isn't much of a price difference between Boogie and AD today. Only a hundred dollar difference. Boogie's ten seven, AD is ten six. I've always said this. I usually prefer Cousins just when you're choosing between the two, especially when they're so similar in price. Uh, but this is a much better matchup for Anthony Davis. Boogie will be matched up with Marc Gasol here, and Gasol is a really good defender. Uh, so it's a much better matchup for Anthony Davis. If we look at how uh, Boogie and Gas or if we look at how Boogie and AD have played against the Grizzlies through two games this year against the Grizzlies, Boogie has averaged 53 DraftKings points. Uh, if we look at Anthony Davis, he's only played one game this year against the Grizzlies, so uh, one of the games that Boogie played, Boogie was out there without Davis. But in AD's one game against the Grizzlies, he averaged 57 DraftKings points, or he put up 57 DK points in that one game. So I think I would prefer Davis here, just because he's not going to see much Gasol. Uh, Boogie will be spending his, or Gasol will be spending a lot of his time on Boogie. So if you're choosing between Boogie or AD today, I think AD is my preferred option, but I'm not sure if either of these guys or players that I'm really trying to jam in on this slate. So looking at other power forwards, if we want to go maybe to the mid-tier here, if Draymond Green plays today, uh, 8,200, I definitely like him in this spot going up against Houston. He's played really well this year against Houston through two games. He's averaged 50 drafting points uh, and he's played an average of 32 minutes against the Rockets. This game is going to be played at a really fast pace, which, set, uh, which sets up well for Draymond. A lot of opportunities for him to gla uh, grab plenty of rebounds, dish out assists. Uh, can definitely get a triple-double here. He's kind of priced up to 8200 but Draymond has the upside to where he can pay off this price tag. Uh, so if you're not going to pay up for Boogie or AD, really like Draymond Green. If he plays, he's listed as questionable. I think he's a guy that we can uh, really consider paying up for at power forward. Don't see a lot of plays in this mid-tier that I'm absolutely in love with. Uh, you could go to James Johnson at 5200 if you want to play him at power forward. You could go to someone like Taj Gibson at 5200 Gibson seems pretty cheap today. He's usually always a consistent play. Uh, but I think I would prefer J.J. over Taj Gibson. So those are really the mid-tier plays that stand out to me. Uh, so trying to find value at power forward. You have Mbaa Mute here at 4,200, uh, who I like as a cheap play. That's really the value that stands out to me. Uh, looking at power forward, not a lot of value plays I see. At least not a lot of options sub-5K that uh, really catch my eye. Um, so moving on to center. Looking at center today, has some really good options to pay up for up top here. Besides Boogie and AD, you've got Joel Embiid at this position. Going up against Milwaukee, that's a great matchup. Uh, Bucks really struggled to defend bigs. Also got Carl Anthony Towns as well. Uh, going up against the Raptors, another team that has struggled defensively against the uh, against the center this year. As you can tell by the thumbnail, I uh, have Carl Anthony Towns in the thumbnail. Definitely one of my favorite plays here. Embiid is a really good option for 1K more than Towns. Uh, but Towns in tournaments is a play that I really like. I feel like he's going to be somewhat low-owned on this slate. Just because Boogie, AD, uh, Joel Embiid, all eligible at center, I feel like people are going to pay up for those guys. Not really going to consider Towns here, especially when he's somewhat similarly priced to them. 
You do get a tad bit of savings if you go down to Towns. He definitely has upside at 9K. He can get uh, 6, 7X on this price tag, put up 62 drafting points his last game against Houston. And like I said, the Raptors have struggled defensively against the center this year. Uh, love Towns in tournaments. Just think he has a lot of upside here. Definitely could put up 50-plus in this spot. And I have a feeling he's going to be really low-owned on this slate. Uh, so if I'm paying up his center, love Cat. You can also go to Embiid, but uh, Cat's my guy today. But looking for other center options that we can go to, uh, you could play, could play Marcus Gasol here against New Orleans. Obviously, it's not the best matchup, but he's going to have to play minutes here. They're going to need his size to go up against Boogie and AD. He's played pretty well this year against the Pelicans. Through two games, he's averaged 45 draftings points in 32 minutes. So as a mid-tier play, if you're not wanting to pay up, uh, you need a little bit of savings. Marcus Gasol at 7,800 is a guy that I, uh, that I definitely think makes sense in, in that 7K range. Also in this mid-tier, Yusuf Nurkic going up against Dallas. A really good play today. If Nurkic gets minutes, the guy's going to crush. We saw it last game against the Pacers. He played 32 minutes, 48 drafting points. Great matchup today against Dallas, a team that can't rebound, can't defend bigs. If Nurkic gets 30-plus minutes against this team, uh, he could absolutely crush and put up another 40 spot. So I really like Nurkic in this mid-tier, especially in tournaments, as a, a guy with a lot of upside. 6,900 against Dallas. Great matchup. think he's a good play. And then another tournament play that I like in that mid-tier uh, is Valanciunas going up against Minnesota. Going up against Carl Anthony Towns, this is a good matchup for Valanciunas. He's going to have to play minutes here. They're going to need his size to go up against Cat. I've always said this. We always want to target Valanciunas when he's going up against a big center. Against Detroit, their last game, going up against Drummond, he played 27 minutes and put up 43 drafting points. Have a good feeling Valanciunas is going to play anywhere from 20 to 25-ish minutes. And the guy just does so much when he's on the court that he can get you 30, 40 drafting points in only 20, 25 minutes. Uh, so especially in tournaments, love Valanciunas at 5,400 if you're going to this price range at center. And then trying to find value, uh, if we're looking to save here, don't really see a ton of value plays that stand out to me as being great options. You could go to Montrezl Harrell, sub 5K. Uh, this is a really tough matchup going up against Utah. The Jazz do have Gobert back. And we obviously know Gobert, one of the best defenders in the league. Uh, but Harrell is somewhat cheap at 4,800. He's been crushing lately with DeAndre Jordan out. Uh, it looks like Jordan's not going to play today. I actually believe he's already been ruled out. So Harrell should be looking at 25 to 30 minutes. It's not the best matchup at all, but he's still sub 5K. He can get you 25 drafting points, I believe, which obviously is returning value at 4,800. So if you want to go cheap at this position, I don't mind Harrell, even though he's got a tough matchup. Uh, he's still really cheap and can definitely get value on this price. Uh, but that's really what I'm seeing at center, at least looking for value plays. I think that's pretty much it for this position, guys. I think that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. I do really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, just make sure you give it a like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you click that subscribe button as well. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up on Twitter at the DFS underscore GOAT uh, or just leave a comment down below. I'll try and get back to your question as soon as I can. But yeah, guys, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you so much for watching and good luck tonight, guys. Peace.